Okay, let me explain the setup. I've got a 6 volt battery power source. This battery is actually getting a little weak, but we have a joule sleeve circuit. Um, across the secondary, I have a 0.1 capacitor. I'm sorry, across the primary. Uh, this is the transformer I'm experimenting with. Um, across the primary of the transformer, I come down to an ignition coil to uh, boost the voltage that is occurring on the primary side. Um, I just have a uh, little transistor here, NPN. Okay, now the output of the coil comes over to um, this CFL, this neon, then wires over to a big old 10 microfarad AC capacitor. The other end's not connected, so um, the hot lead uh, doesn't terminate, it's just ending here at the end of this capacitor. Um, and I wanted to show you uh, something interesting here. Uh, over here, um, oh, the, co the coil is uh, connected to a, a ground wire. This wire here is a ground wire. Over here, this ground wire is connected to a neon, and then this is connected up to the uh, Hubbard coil that I made, or the Hubbard like coil. These uh, six coils are connected in series around in a circle and the co the central core is not connected to anything, it's just floating here. Um, I'm connecting uh, this neon up to uh, part of this ring. Okay, now watch what happens when I move this coil closer. We have light. Um, so, in other words, when the Hubbard coil is sitting next to this capacitor, um, um, which has a pretty intense electric electric field coming off it. In fact, uh, this metallic uh, surface here, if I touch it, the light goes brighter here. Um, anyway, the Hubbard coil uh, resting near that is able to power this neon just from the uh, mutual inductive pickup from this capacitor. Uh, so this neon is not, it's just wired to ground, so um, we're just sitting here uh, picking up energy directly from this, the, this oscillating capacitor. Now, if I move, let me back, if I move this away, you'll see that the current drops off. And the neon's still lit, so even at this distance, we have a pickup, but it doesn't stimulate this side of the, uh, the, the voltage isn't high enough to light the CFL. It's high enough to light a neon, but not the CFL. Move this back. I have to touch it to sort of, st uh, CFLs kind of need to be started. Um, this coil is on a static, uh, Matt, if I put it on the directly on the tile, it actually might um, pick up even better. But it's it works either way on the static mat or the tile. Um, now the other way to go is uh, I could move this Hubbard coil over near the ignition coil to see that if it can inductively couple with the ignition coil. Um, we do have a neon, kind of blinking, but I can't make the CFL light. And you'll notice the uh, neon over here has gone out. So the Hubbard coil is stealing all the energy and driving this uh, neon pretty brightly, but the rest of this circuit is starved now. Moving this back, 